Welcome back to FC Gifu and our Football Manager 2017 Asian Journeyman save. <clears throat> We've played three matches since you've been gone. And, well, <clears throat> results are decidedly mixed. Uh, it's the joys of a young team, I guess you could say. Uh, the first match we played was against Kawasaki. Kawasaki was in first place. We were tied as far as points, but they had us on goal differential. Uh, we managed to draw 1-1. Uh, with both of the top two teams drawing, that left the door open for Nagoya Stoltz to step into first place, which they did. We played them next and beat them convincingly, 2-1, a very well-played match by us. <clears throat> uh, this own goal was interesting. We were feeding it into, um, uh, into Takasi, Yuya Takasi, and he got completely taken out before the even ball got there. Should have been a penalty kick, um, but wasn't for whatever reason. So the pass, the cross that was going into him, went past him lying on the ground and hit the defender past him and just bounced in. So uh, we got the goal either way, but should have been a penalty shot. Should have been a red card as far as I'm concerned. Um, just two-footed ledge from behind that took our guy down before the ball even got there. So, um, But anyway, we got the goal, we got the win, so that's all that matters. So after knocking off, after drawing with number one, beating number one, we played number 20 and lost badly wasn't close you can see right there we played horribly uh we'd get the ball and then just kick it as hard as we could into the stands L like literally like if the sidelines here and we're here we just turn and boot it nobody there nothing going on uh we'd have two players here to throw in we'd throw it that way as hard as we could nobody down there nobody um that was the type of match it was so just absolute garbage i'm gonna blame it on the game i'm gonna say there were some weird glitches there's some people that threw the ball in this way, but the ball went that way. Uh, God knows what was going on, but but we lost, and we lost badly. I mean, look at that. Yuya got a 6-0, and there's a 6-1 for Yuta. I mean, that's our two strikers right there, right? Yuta and Yuka, a 6-0 and a 6-1. That's just absolute garbage. And unfortunately, Hiroyuki Murayama wasn't much better. Our defenders were all 6-4s. Um, we just couldn't do anything, you know. It is what it was. You know, it is what it is. So, anyway, we move on today. Uh, we have Kamatamare. They are in 19th place. So, uh, it's a home match for us. Maybe that makes a difference. You know, against number 20, we were away. I, I don't know. I don't know. Let's give it a try. We'll see what happens with this one. Oh, I do need to lower the volume kind of dramatically there. Hopefully that did that. When the game's up, I don't get the indicator of what my volume is like so our under 18s were victorious uh how have our under 18s been playing apparently not spectacular we're a mid-table team there you go four three and three 15 points but we played well today 8.3 for uh takayuki honda uh i've decided to he's not been getting a lot of play time um he's he's not as good as um saito is by quite a bit but he needs play time so uh I don't have him in the subs at the moment, so we're running him 90 minutes until fit. Uh, and he's apparently he's apparently enjoying it. So uh, Tomohara Wada played very well as well, also getting an 8.3. Let's take a look, see see about this youngster, 15 years old. Um, yeah. I don't think he's going to be putting up a lot of 8.3s. Let's just let's just put it that way. All right, so let us go on to our match against Kamatamare today. Kama, 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 Kamatamare. Come and go. I don't remember any of the lyrics to Kama Chameleon, unfortunately. Or I'd go on. I'm pretty sure that's a threat, not a promise, but... Anyway, after our loss, we are down to third place. But notice uh, Nagoya Stoltz has dropped out as well as Kawasaki. We've got the uh, coachless Kyoto Mantis up in first place with Sting Chiba in second place. We are still in the uh, promotion playoff, though, and that's the important bit. Um, not a lot of changes. I'm running kind of our starting two for uh, Yuya and Yuta. We have started playing S uh, Satoshi Mori. We meant to play him again and just kind of forgot. Um, we'd kind of put Nishimura in to get him a game or two, and he got six. Um, so we've we've gone back to Satoshi Mori. Uh, he doesn't have the upside, but he's much better right now, uh, and he really should be playing more. So 
and uh, Kenji in the middle. So we essentially have our A-list team at the moment. I think we can skip players walking slowly across the field. All right, they are in the light blue, and we are in our standard greens. Yuta starts it off by going off sides. Ah, I did finally get match stats turned back on. Excuse me. Uh, we are in counter, but you know what? I think I'm going to knock that up to control. They are ranked 19th. I think that was one of the problems we did against... Um, against the previous team, although I did switch it, well, about 20 minutes in after they scored two goals. But, you know, we should win this game. We should be able to take the attack to them. There's no reason, you know, it's one thing to... Oh, there we go, Ishii! There's no reason to sit back and wait for the number 19 team to, to try to threaten you, or the number 20 team for that matter, um, although they did score two goals very quickly. Ugh! <sighs> Yuta fed it up to Yuya, who feeds it back to Ishii, who pounces. We took him out for a game as well in the middle there. Uh, we do have a sub for him as well. We decided to let get a game. Again, all these young guys, we've got to get them some play time here and there. I figured number 20 was the team to do that against, but I was wrong. Takasi boots it up. Yuta's there. Goalie comes way out, unable to do anything. Inyo managed to feed it past his left side and in, into the goal bottom. Bottom side there just rolls it on in. There we go. Uh, Yuta's quietly had a pretty good season for us. He hasn't been spectacular in bursts like Yuya has, but he's he's played a little bit more consistently. He's picked up goals here and there, you know, in ones and with penalty shots rather than three or four at a time. But um, but he's played very very well for us. All right, and there he is again. Speak of the devil. What's Yuta got? Utah Saints. There we go. We're going to go weird old school music references. There we go. Ooh, that was kind of a dangerous pass back, but okay. And then we don't try hard enough, and Niyami comes up with it, but Fujita takes it back away, makes up a little bit, boots it way up to Yuya Takasi. What's he got? Oh, and he's just wide right. Yuta tried to, to return the favor to Yuya and feed one up there, but, you know, Yuya's got both assists this match. You know, and in Japanese football, that's that's probably what we should be celebrating. Not the goals, but the assists. Um, I actually meant to do that when I when I started this, and I just forgot. Because I'm an American, and for us, it's goals and home runs. Not assists and sacrifices. All the way out there to, to Mori. That's perfect. That's what we want. we got three guys charging in the middle. Ishii puts a head on it. Down to Saito. Oh, Saito tries feeding in the middle, but it got blocked out. Bayman Ho's there, though. What's, what's he got? Three guys come out to challenge him. We feed it back into Fujita. Yuta's got it. He gets taken down by Ono. Ono just boots it, but Okuma's there. Feeds it back in. Kim byung yoon has it into Yuta. Back and forth. Saito's got it on the right. Crosses it in. Yes! And Yuta's there. I need to get, like, the sample of the... Yuta, Yuta, Utah, 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 Utah Saints. You know that little flashy thing from the video, you know, at the beginning of their song? I might have to find that. I'll put it in there for my horrible little version of it. There we go. While I'm thinking about it, though. While I'm thinking about it. Overview. There we go. Fixed. It's a feature, not a bug. But it hasn't shown up yet, interestingly enough. Bounces around in the middle there. Nothing much happens. Kushida's got it. Oh, he loses it. It got just... Feeds it back in with as much force as it was sent back out. Saito's got it. He feeds it into the middle. Interesting pass, but it works to Ishii. Up to Yuya Takasi. Back over to Utah. Saito's got it. Crosses across, and Ishii is there. That was just beautiful. There was nothing they could do. We just came in waves. Every time they thought they had something, we had another pass and just kept rolling. Said we scored twice in the span of three minutes. Tackled it away. Saito's there. 
Saito, excuse me, back into Ishii. Nothing the goalie could do. He's ping-ponging back and forth there, side to side, just uh, no idea where the attack was coming from. Look at that. Ishii, 9.2 on the match. Euro Saito, a 9-0. We are just crushing them. I think we're just going to leave it as it is. You know, we've been doing a lot of subs. People have got some play time. I think this time we just we just let the team play. Maybe we get closer to 75 minutes. Maybe we'll swap somebody out. But I just I don't see the point at this point. Everybody's playing well. Let's get morale up. Let's get everybody's ratings up. Get people happy. Uh, we've got 14 shots on goal. Seven have been on target. Three clear-cut chances, a half chance. Uh, only five long shots. <clears throat> Kim feeds it up to Yuya, up to Utah. He just kind of dribbles it in, feeds it back to Yuya Takasi, back over to Fujita. Back in Ishii. Ishii took a shot, kind of a weak shot though. Defender was in good position, just bounced off of him and out. We're trying to feed it back in. Mori's got it. Ah, bad cross, bad passing cross attempt in. Uh, Yamaguchi up to Mikami. Over to Ono. Mikami to, to Yoko. Mikami. Back to Yoko. Oh no! Ishii gets sick of it and just takes him out. Just got bored. That's what he said. It's just like, screw it. You know, we will make a quick save. Uh, he's played very well, but he does have a yellow card. We may as well swap him out. Put one of the youngsters in there. Uh, we do have Atsushi uh, Aono. They have Ono, we have a Ono. That's right. Somewhere there's a the Ono, but I haven't seen him yet. Uh, Atsushi, those played very well for us uh, in limited play. We, we had him in for a couple matches, and, and uh, his numbers aren't as good. He's a youngster, uh, but he, he's played well. And we are up four, four zips, so clean sheet would be nice, especially after the last match where we played so badly. Takasi, back over to Fujita, into Utah. Back out to Saito. Ishii. While they're doing that, I'm going to do a quick uh, cheeky calm concentrate. Oh, and there's the header in, I think. Utah gets it. Saito to Utah. There we go. It says it right there. Ninth goal of the season. Like I said, he just, just, just steady on. Let's see the replay since I was busy screwing with stuff. Beautiful cross in, got headed back out, so he just flicks it back. He just lobs it up. Utah's there. Puts the head on it. There we go. Five zip. Well, that's going to help our goal differential, if nothing else. You know, we're trying not to lose too many matches or too many spots on goal differential. A couple times this season, we've been the lower of two teams based on goal differential. And that should be match. You know, they got 30 seconds to try to get something in here. But essentially, goal differential is the only thing they're affecting. Haguchi, back to Owasi, back to Aku. They're just passing it back. They're not even not even trying to go for it anymore. Yamaguchi was off sides. Jason's going to take his time. Time is going to expire. There's the final whistle, and we are up five zip. Only one player looked complacent. All right, let's see what they say after this quick save game. We want it saved after that match. Off the ball reflects players' movement without the ball. Similar to anticipation, this is how well players, particularly attacking ones, can assess the situation and something. All right, let's check the inbox here. Utah sends FC Gifu top. Three goals from Utah ensured FC Gifu moved to the top of J2 League with a 5-0 victory over Kamatamare. I just, yeah, if you say Kamatamare like that, you have to sing it. On a wet evening at Memorial Center, Nagaragawa Stadium, advanced player maker Kaisuke Ishii gave FC Gifu the lead with an incisive finish to the bottom right corner from 15 yards in the 17th minute. Poacher Utah doubled FC Gifu's lead with an incisive finish into the bottom right corner from 15 yards in the 24th minute. I'm 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 seeing a seeing a pattern here. It was a superb solo effort, and Utah looked delighted. And he got a second goal. Then Ishii got a second goal. Then Utah got his hat trick. We couldn't get Ishii the hat trick too, but 
you know, what, what are you going to do? Leaves us at first place, uh, 22 points, goal differential of 14, which is, well, five up from Kyoto Mantis, oddly enough, with those five goals. That helped us quite a bit. Utah impresses, 9.6, 89% passes completed as well. He was just spectacular. Superb in front of goal. I could praise him for his passing too, but... Um, and Usami runs out of superlatives for Utah. And, and can you blame him? Um, and if this was an American, we'd probably even have more superlatives for him. But we had to talk about the assists more. Uh, aside, disappointed at humbling defeat. And it was. All right. I think that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. If you like to give us a thumbs up, thumbs down if you hated it. You got some uh, suggestions for me? Something you'd like me to try uh, with uh, tactics? Um, something you'd like to see in the save? Let me know. Love to hear from you. If you'd like to see more, don't forget to subscribe, and we will see you next time. Sayonara.